newly released video captured by U.S. Navy pilots offers an inside look at a secretive government program that investigated unidentified flying objects. The Defense Department says it ended the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program in 2012 over funding issues. But a Pentagon spokeswoman said, quote, the DOD takes seriously all threats and takes action whenever credible information is developed. Tony DeCopel shows us two UFO encounters captured on camera. Tony, good morning. Good morning, ladies, to this video. <laughs> that little-known Pentagon program had a budget of about $22 million, according to the civilian intelligence officer who used to run it. Most of the sightings looked at were by U.S. military personnel who have been reporting UFO sightings for decades. <laughs> this is one of the incidents the Pentagon's secretive group of UFO hunters investigated. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. This object appeared off the California coast in 2004 and baffled two Navy pilots. It's not a drone. Uh, it's not something that we can easily say, oh, that's an airplane or... Luis Elizondo ran the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program at the Defense Department. He believes the way that school bus-sized object moved defied the known laws of physics. What we are looking at is truly beyond next-generation technologies. Former Nevada Senator Harry Reid championed the UFO program, and some of the funding reportedly went to one of his donors, Robert Bigelow, founder of the military contractor Bigelow Aerospace. The Las Vegas tycoon spoke with 60 Minutes in May. Do you imagine that in our space travels we will encounter other forms of intelligent life? You don't have to go anywhere. You can find it here. Yeah. <laughs> Where exactly? It's just like right under people's noses. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm human. I'm human. Unlike in the movies, most UFOs don't turn out to be alien spacecraft. This green fireball above Buenos Aires in 2015 was likely a meteor. Well, this strange light over Los Angeles was actually a missile test. I think this is a national security imperative. We have clear things that we do not understand how they work operating in areas that we can't control. Elizondo refused to tell us how many cases his former group investigated, saying that information was sensitive. From 1947 to 1969, an Air Force program called Project Blue Book looked into more than 12,000 UFO sightings, and about 700 of them remain unidentified. Interesting how they buried this in the budget under this sort of blurry name, Advanced <laughs> Aviation Threat <laughs> Identification They program. call it black money for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen one, but I believe when I was a little kid, there was a movie where it shows aliens giving you a needle in the back of your neck and it changed you, changed your yeah, personality. Yeah. It terrified me for years. Still terrifies me, so I believe in that. Yeah. I do too. Wow. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things. Yeah. <laughs> Big smile from Tony DeCopo this morning. Thank you, Tony. Coming up next.